One morning you will take the boat from Panzos for the trip down the Polachik River to the Caribbean. The Polachik is the gateway to a tropical paradise. It flows placidly through dense jungle, primitive and mysterious in the early morning light. The quiet is broken by the deep-throated cry of the Mapaches, the giant black monkeys in the trees along the shore. Here and there, a huge crane, startled by the river boat, takes flight, rising awkwardly into the sky. A colorful old stern wheeler towing a heavy barge passes on its way upriver. The Polachik is a main artery of commerce carrying the produce of the highlands down to the Caribbean for transshipment to world ports. As the day wears on, the hot tropical sun begins to warm the sandbars in the river, and from its green depths, the alligators emerge, and then the sport begins. Hitting an alligator at 100 yards from a moving boat takes a good eye and a steady hand. And our hunter sights one on the sandbar ahead and gets a perfect shot. The mate, a young Indian lad, wades ashore. One last whip of that powerful tail could break his leg, but he's handled many of them before, and he does so without fear. Well, there goes another pair of shoes in the handbag for some lovely debutante. On the northern shore of Lake Isabel is the village of Alastor. In its beautiful tropical setting, Alastor serves as a trading post for the settlements around the lake and as a social center for the planters who are gradually turning the jungle into productive plantations. At the eastern end of the lake is the old castle and fortress of San Felipe. Built in colonial times as a protection against pirates, its history is rich in the names of that Jolly Roger fraternity who tried unsuccessfully to capture it. As you enter the River Dulce, the white chalk cliffs rise on each side. If they could but speak, they would tell of the fierce battles which were fought here in colonial times. But today they are eloquent in their silence, a haven for pleasure yachts, a refuge for the white aigrette native to these shores. Late afternoon will find you nearing your destination, floating down this placid river, approaching the Caribbean. The clouds gather as the failing light of day casts its eerie glow over these deep canyons. Puerto Barrios is the main shipping port of Guatemala on the Atlantic side. A deep water port, it teems with activity the year round. Here, fast ships meet and exchange passengers and cargo with the airlines, railroads, and riverboats, which form the links connecting all Guatemala with world ports.